By the end of this video, you're gonna learn four methods to reduce your DOMS pain right now. My name is Dr. Story. I've been a chiropractor for over 25 years, and I'm gonna give you realistic information based on my experience and based on the scientific literature. Now, everyone's done a workout where you work out too hard or you overdo it, and the next day or even two days later, you can hardly move the muscle. It feels like a rock is in there, and it hurts like hell. So here's what we're gonna do. Four methods, two of them, are not gonna help you long-term, but they're gonna help you short-term, and the other two are gonna help you recover quicker overall, but don't have immediate effects. So number one, a great solution is to do an ice bath. And what you do is you get in a bathtub of cold water, pour uh, five pounds of ice into it, and hold on for dear life. But I'll tell you what, it does actually reduce your pain. Ice will numb the nerves that sense pain and reduce any inflammatory uh, things that are going on inside your muscles. Now, that is a temporary solution. You spend 10 minutes in ice bath, you're gonna feel fantastic when you get out. However, there is some research to show that even though it reduces the pain, it's actually slowing down recovery. So the advantage of an ice bath is that it helps you now, but it actually slows down the protein synthesis, protein synthesis that you want for recovery when you overdo it. Number two, NSAIDs. If you swallow pills, you're gonna reduce pain. It's just that simple. So if you're using NSAIDs when you have DOMS pain, then yes, within 20, 30 minutes, you're gonna feel a little bit better. The problem is the chemical reactions that have to occur in order to reduce your pain also reduce protein synthesis, which is what you want. He keeps talking about protein synthesis to rebuild the muscle after you did the workout. So the advantage of NSAIDs is you will feel better. However, the problem is, is that now you're interfering with the exact situation that you wanted, which is called recovery. So those are the things you're going to have to make decisions on. Now, the third solution to Dom's pain is to maximize the benefits of nutrition. So what you want to do is after a workout, you want to eat some form of protein and you want to have about 30% of your calories as that protein. Then you want about 30% of your calories to be from fat, and you want good fats, monounsaturated fats. So you want like olive oil or avocados, things like that. And then the remaining 40% of calories you want from your carbohydrates. But what you need is high density, nutrient dense carbohydrates. And what that equates to are vegetables. The more colorful the vegetables, you want red, you want purple, you want dark greens, the more of that can occur. What you're doing is you're supplying the actual nutrients that you need to recover. So when you exercise and you break down muscle tissue, recovery means that you're actually rebuilding tissue. Well, you can't rebuild tissue if you're not supplying the nutrients. And that is how you're gonna use nutrition. Number four, and the final thing that you can do to reduce Dom's pain now is to increase the circulation to the actual muscle tissue that's been damaged. Now, how are you gonna do that? You're gonna do a low load, low resistance, high repetition, easy range of motion. Now this can be swimming, it could be cycling, it could be just range of motion exercises. Point is, resting and doing nothing is not going to help you recover as fast as actually getting circulation into the tissue. When you move the tissue, you're bringing nutrients and oxygen to that tissue. Hence, number three, if you have good nutrition and you have good circulation to the muscle, that DOMS pain is going to recover a lot better. So number three and number four are the things that you want to do to recover better and recover faster. However, number one and number two are things that you can do that will help you reduce pain of the DOMS right now. The unfortunate thing is they have been found to delay the recovery. He keeps talking about protein synthesis. So what's your opinion of the best way to recover from DOMS? 
let me know in the comment section down below. Now, notice that I mentioned four things, and there's one in thing in particular that I did not mention, and I did it for a reason. It's stretching. And if you think that stretching is going to help with Dom's pain, then that's a good question you should ask. And there should be a reason why I did not include it in this video. I made a video, it's right here, and it talks about whether stretching is actually beneficial or it's a waste of time. And I would suggest if you think that stretching is beneficial, watch that video and let me know on that video what your comments are. Also, I left another thing out, and that is lactic acid. Why did I do that? There's a reason, and in this video right down below, I discuss whether lactic acid is actually a component in why we feel so sore after a workout. I once heard a joke about amnesia, but um, I, I forgot how it goes.